Well, all right, everyone. It is now early September. The next two months is the best time of the year to be outdoors. So I'm gonna get out as much as possible. That season, it flies by way too fast. So today, I'm out in the kayak on one of my favorite little lakes close to home. And like many lakes, it is very stained. There's a lot of tannins in the water that gives it very low visibility. And from what I've discovered, any lure with bright colors gets the fish. Specifically fire tiger, spinners, spinner baits, jerk baits, crank baits. I've caught walleye, bass, and pike. They all seem to love it. I got a new bait. I'm gonna try it out today and see if they like it because it is also fire tiger. Here it is, three and a half inch fire perch, pretty much fire tiger. I saw these and had to get them for this lake because although the fishing seems decent, I lose a lot of lures in here. There's a lot of rock, jagged edges with on them. There's logs, you name it. I, uh, I donate quite a few lures. So if I could lose these guys for maybe, you know, dollar, dollar fifty a piece, it's a lot better than losing 10 or 12 dollar jerk baits, right? Just to give you an idea how stained this water is, look at that, look how the color changes. And that's only four inches in. I was playing around ice fishing here last year. I grabbed a bright lure, dropped it down in the water to see when I would lose sight of it. And it was only two feet down. That is how dark this water is. So yeah, let's get fishing. Put one of these guys on a Berkeley Fusion underspin. It's the exact same bait I actually used earlier in the year on musky opener. I caught musky, smallmouth, a pike over 20 pounds, walleye. I already know it catches fish, but this is the lake I specifically bought them for. There it is all rigged up. They have little eyes on them, which are totally unnecessary because jigs, well, specifically jigs you want to use it on also have eyes. So, little uh, redundant. Right. Here we go, fishing. Yeah, look at that. You can, even the bright colors, that's only about a foot below the surface and it's hard to see. Beaver lodges, they always hold fish. Lots of structure for the bait. The bigger ones will be there hunting. There we go, fish on. <laughs> what did I say? Right in front of the beaver lodge. And I also realized when I got to my lake, uh, I didn't bring a net. I did not bring a net. Woo! Oh, I do have 17 pound floral, but I noticed the line is in his teeth. Gonna have to land him quick here. Oh yeah. Nice, healthy pike. Of course my pliers are in my bag. I'm in no rush to get him back. I'm also fishing for food today. And that is an absolutely healthy, healthy fish. So he's coming home with me. All right. Perfect eating pike right there. Oh, right there. Oh, just like that. Almost had my second fish.
Oh wow. <laughs> Walleye. Nice. Look at that. Gonna be uh, filling the freezer after this trip. No, it was a fish. Fish on. Another pike. Again, right in front of this beaver lodge. This guy's a little on the small side for keeping, but still fun to catch. There you go. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Another one for the stringer. It's smaller, but nice eaters. Yeah. Marking all kinds of fish. Right in front of the beaver lodge. I haven't really left it yet. It's where I started. And four fish later, still here. I hope fish. Voila. Another walleye. Tasty size. All right, thanks for the meat, little buddy. You gotta love a mid-afternoon walleye bite. It's absolutely gorgeous. Sun's out, but it's cool because it's September. I think the dark water has a lot to do with that. You know, they're a little more aggressive, less finicky. You don't need to uh, have such a delicate presentation. You just cast out a nice bright colored lure and they smack it. Fish on. Voila. Okay, this one is a bit too tiny. Oh. Yeah, it's just, the other ones are 13, 14. That one's like 11 inches. Your lucky day. Your lucky day. There we go. Another baby. Another bad bag. Still fun catching them though. Very much so. There we go. I had to feed that one a little bit. Baby walleyes. Too small to keep, you know? I want you at least twice that size. So pretty though. The blue and the fins. Dark black and gold. That's what they look like in these tea-stained waters. Feels like another small one. Mm. Yeah. 
Uh, no, too small. When you're catching lots of little fish though, that's a good indicator of a healthy lake. They're reproducing well. So I don't mind catching the little guys. Yeah, fish on. That was a weird hit. Another little walleye. Hmm. Eh, what the heck. I'm gonna keep it. It's a little bit bigger than the other ones. Tell you, man. Fire tiger. Look how beat up that is. That is the original plastic I put on the jig at the beginning of the day. And even without its fancy eyes, still slaying them. I'm still on my first GoPro battery. I've caught eight walleye and two pike. So I might as well keep fishing for a couple more hours, just for funsies. If I catch some bass, which I know are in here, but they're being elusive today, I will keep them. But yeah, already got a good uh, amount of fish on the stringer. Good day, good day. Really? <laughs> that was like fish on basically as soon as it hit the water. Oh, is there my bass? That's my bass. Yeah. And I'm definitely not against keeping bass. That one got off. They're invasive here. And in this particular lake, as well as a few others I found with this dark water, they're actually really good eating fish. There's no parasites. They're very healthy. Nice. Oof. Tapped right away. Fish on right away. Yeah, boy. That feels like a bass. Feels like a bass. It's a pike. <laughs> Not a bass. Fighting good, though. Another very healthy pike. Ooh, he got slashed up. I know there's much bigger fish in here. Look at that. Something big had to go with this fish. You've had enough fish chips. I'll let you go. Well, this feels a little decent. Probably another pike. Didn't hit very hard. Yep, pike. Wait, wait, wait. Is that the same? Yes, it is. I caught you already today, man. Catch and release works. Remember the wound on the tail and the slashed fin? That jig is not food, okay? Go somewhere safe. <laughs> oh, unreal. Catch and release works. Oh, I know I've 
we photographed and confirmed that we've caught trophy pike months apart and tagged bass but it's not very often you catch the same fish in the same day huh too funny Mr. Walleye Another baby, but that's okay because I got my limit. Get bigger. Get bigger. What a beautiful evening. It's a bit warm, especially for September, but very nice. And yes, I am grateful that I have many lakes like this close to home that I can go to and fish for a few hours and return home. That's why I chose to live in a small town. It was a choice. Definitely a choice. There we go. Fighting decent. If this is that same pike again, I don't know what I'll do. No, oh, it's a walleye. Definitely not that pike. Oh, that's not nice, but neither is hooking fish for fun, right? I don't have my net, so just the old fashioned style. Come here. Finally. Finally got gotcha. you. Beautiful thick walleye on my fire tiger bait. Yeah. It's a nice chunk right there. Absolutely gorgeous. There it goes. Nice. You know what? I've caught countless little walleye. That beauty. A couple nice pike. I'm not finding any bass to add to the stringer. So I think I'm just gonna call it. Yeah, nice day. I could stay out here for a few more hours and pound the fish, but fall is just beginning. It's the best season. I'll be out many, many more times, or at least I hope to. Yeah, I'm gonna go home, clean up those little fish, and get ready for tomorrow, because tomorrow's another work day. All right, cheers and tight lines at everyone.